Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Droid Live Show. Today, episode 225. It is Friday, February 7th. I'm your host, Kellen. With me, Tim. Tim, say hi. Hey, guys. How's it going? In much lower resolution. <laughs> we had a technical difficulty. Tim's he's alive, just on a different camera. Only me in that high quality you need. I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> Today's uh, been a rough day. One of those days. Um, thanks for joining us. We uh, have a, a pretty good show today. Um, trivia at the end of the show. Just want to throw that out there now. Uh, we're giving everyone $10 Google Play gift cards or credit. So uh, if you hang around to the end of the show, you will. Uh, yeah, you could have a chance to win $10. Uh, we do trivia every show. So if you're new around here, hang around. Listen to some topics. Win fabulous prizes. So um, on this week's show, we want to talk about well, next week's uh, Galaxy S20 launch. So it's finally here. I mean, S20, uh, Galaxy Buds Plus, hopefully the Galaxy Z Flip. Uh, so big week next week. We'll just kind of catch you guys up to make sure you remember that. Um, there's a February update for Pixel phones. And then uh, there's this to talk about. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got a foldable. Whoa. The, uh, the Razer is in the house. Uh, judging by the uh, pre-show commentary, uh, most of you don't care, which, you know, is totally fine. We're still going to talk about it. Uh, there's also some other Motorola news, possibly their next flagship. We know some details. Pixel 4a. Tim already has a wish list for the Pixel 5, which is, uh, what, like nine months away? Ten months away. Something like that. Ten? But it's never know, too it's, early. It is never too early. Uh, big year for Google Maps. Uh, I have another new smartwatch to talk about. We love Kellen's smartwatch section. We'll, we'll probably limit it to 30 seconds again. Uh, Blackberry, goodbye again. And uh, yeah, then we'll, then we'll get to trivia. Uh, so uh, just quickly, S Galaxy S20. So next week, Samsung will announce the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra. All will be 5G probably, depending on the carrier. Uh, we'll also get Galaxy Buds Plus, which should be an upgrade over the Galaxy Buds. Um, in in the only real news around all of that is Galaxy Buds Plus talk. So Ev Leaks posted a comparison picture of the specs between the two original Buds versus Buds Plus, and there actually are some significant upgrades there. Much bigger batteries, battery life completely expanded. So the new Buds Plus are rated at 11 hours on a single charge. That seems. Uh, like remarkable. <laughs> the old ones were rated at six, 11 hours. Can you imagine wearing ear? Not that you would wear earbuds for 11 hours, but that's, that's a really, really long time. Like half a day. Almost we're getting towards. Yeah, it's fake news. It probably is. I mean, there's no way I believe it'll last that, but if the older ones were rated at six and they lasted four, that's decent. And if these are rated at 11, they last like eight hours on a single charge. Pretty big deal. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, they have even faster, fast charging. We saw Bluetooth 5, and now we have multi-device connections, which is a big deal for anyone you know who wants to connect earbuds to multiple things at a time instead of the weird way you have to like disconnect your one phone. And then if you want to hook up to your computer, you have to like turn the Bluetooth off in your phone so that it hopefully picks it up on your I mean, it's a pain in the ass on most of them. So multi-device connections, pretty big deal. Uh, we now have a two-way dynamic uh, sound setup with Woofer and Tweeter. You really put a woofer in earbuds? You can't, right? No. We're just like making this up, right? It's like a digital woofer or something. I'm not even sure how to. Oh, digi woof? Yeah, it's digi, it's digi woof. <laughs> um, woof the other thing is, there's apparently <laughs> iOS. There's an iOS app coming. It sounds like I don't know what that means. There's like oh. a Galaxy wearable iOS app. I don't know how they would do that because if anyone's ever installed the Galaxy wearable app on an Android phone, you know there's like 16 plugins you have to install alongside mm -hmm. that app, and I, don't, I can't imagine Apple's down with that. So maybe they've uh, buttoned that up. Uh, either way, the Galaxy Buds will be a nice upgrade, and 149 bucks, 20 bucks more than the original. Not bad at all. Nah. Not, bad. Not bad at all. Um, and then finally, Galaxy S20 uh, design confirmed on Samsung's own website, which... Not really that big a deal. We've seen press images, renders. We've seen it all. The phone in people's hands here and there. We knew what it looked like. Samsung said, yeah, the, this is this is what it looks like mistakenly. I mean, I don't really want to cover anything else. Is there anything else to talk about with the S20? Like, we know everything. The only thing that's not fully locked down yet is pricing. And we're, we're, we're assuming right around a thousand bucks starting point, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, it, this happens with so many phones these days. But yeah, we pretty much know everything going into it. Um, I don't think you mentioned probably the biggest announcement that's going to happen, but that, of course, is going to be the Galaxy Home Mini. Uh, we've been waiting years to get the Galaxy Home smart speakers in our houses. And I don't know about you, but I'll be soon replacing all of my Google Home and Nest Home Minis with uh, Galaxy Home Minis because finally, it's I think it's been about two years now. Yeah. Uh, finally, we get some Bixby. Bixby. I don't want to trigger anybody with the way I say it, but <laughs> if I pronounce it Bixby. Um, super excited about Bixby coming in. You really want uh, your home to be powered by Bixby? Yeah, it's funny, you yeah. and I both kind of say Bixby. Like, Bixby. Say it, it's yeah, Bixby. fast enough where it sounds uh, like Bixby. a G. And yeah, people really yeah. do uh, really do like to correct us on that. Bixby. Oh, it's Bixby. Yeah. Yeah, no one's going <laughs> to buy that know. thing. Okay. They're, I, I just hope that they give them away free. Like if you buy an S20, they're like, here, have a Bixby speaker. Have a Galaxy yeah. Home Mini. Otherwise, why the hell would you ever buy that thing? You just know. Yeah, what sucks is the the reported pricing is like 80 bucks. <laughs> so sure, yeah. that's too much for garbage. I forgot <laughs> I just, that people have been testing that. Remember they announced a beta program in Korea oh. like over the summer or something? If people actually have I, I was Googling like keywords arounding them just to see if I could see it pop up on like Reddit or anywhere to see if anyone had one. And sure enough, there's like people in Samsung's forum talking about like features that were working and not working. And I went how do these people have them? And then I forgot there's, they've been doing this beta program. So people do actually have the thing. They might That's actually peculiar. sell it someday. Yeah, maybe. Um, Big speed. Other than that, you know, still actually looking quite forward uh, to the galaxy S 20. Uh, yeah. I think I, I had like this post kind of going around in my head. Like here comes another dominating year from Samsung. Like just because these phones look kind of killer, even in just the press renders, you know, they're going to have all the specs one UI is getting good. Uh, get good, Samsung. And they did. Uh, they, did. It, they listened, finally. 2020, probably going to be dominated by the S20. Uh, and then, you know, the Note 20. It's just, it's the year of 20, man. It's crazy. Bente. Bente yeah. rules it all. I think it's going to be a big, big event for them. Big, mm -hmm. I think big year. I don't know. Every year they've, uh, like the S10 was a big lineup of phones for them, too. And I don't know that they've had they didn't, I don't know they had an amazing year last year in terms of phones. That's just because phone sales, I think, are just slowing down in general because people just don't need to upgrade, which I get. People don't really need to upgrade all the time anymore. Phones are, are pretty damn it's good. True. Ben Jacobs brings up one thing. Uh, he says you should make a post reminding people to wait on buying it because there's always going to be sales for it. So we typically do that with Pixel phones. Samsung phones, I don't know if you want to wait too long just because the trade-in deals are yeah. always at their highest right yeah. when the phone launches. So in order to get the most money or the most bang for your buck uh, for yeah. your current device, if you're trading in, you want to get it soon rather than later. So Pixel phones, wait. Always right. wait. Samsung, Galaxy don't phones, wait. don't wait. So. No. I mean, we saw, yeah, I think we talked about last week how that with the S or the Note 10, they were doing like 600 off if you traded in an S10, even maybe an S9. It was something crazy mm. like that. You were getting 550, 600 off right up front. So, yeah, they're actually the opposite. Yeah, Google, you definitely never want to buy them day one ever. Samsung, you actually kind of want to because they never bring back those those trade in prices. They're always wild up front. So. Yeah, and plus Samsung's pre-order deals are always pretty good in terms of free stuff. Like you might yeah. get these new Galaxy Buds right. or something like that. You, you just never know. We'll have to see and we'll obviously see next week. But yeah, I mean, if you were planning on buying, just plan on buying it next week. Yeah. Xavier said no hype for the new Buds. No, no, no. I think the new Buds are going to be really good. I'm actually, I, I like the original Buds a lot. So the fact that the upgrades that we've seen with them, they're actually pretty impressive for 20 bucks more. So hopefully they do give them to us for free with purchase because I'd love another upgraded pair of Galaxy Buds. Yeah, that would be dope. No uh, active noise cancellation, though. Apparently not. No. Yeah, I mean, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, they'd probably be like 250 bucks if they did that, don't you think? Probably. And the originals are all like they it's going to be the same as the originals, right? Those don't have active noise cancellation. Those have like a they have some type of noise cancellation, don't they? Which one? I feel like they do. The original Galaxy Buds? I th like the Icon X? Like those ones or the ones we have right now? The ones we have right now. What do those have? They do have something, don't they? I feel like they do because whenever I put them in, like I feel like you know quite a bit of noise is drowned them. They have to have that active kind of mic, that well, uh, you can definitely, like, ambient sound. Long press to turn off, can't you? Like 
No, well, I know you long. Well, I long pressed to turn on ambient sound, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of. You know, maybe they just suction really well. I love the Galaxy Buds, the right, the ones they have right now, just because they fit my ear better than any other buds I've found. They fit mine pretty good too. Yeah, like out of the box, I didn't have to change any of that. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't change the tip or nothing. (laughs) Either Uh, way, Ben also asked why did they uh, why did they go straight to the S20. I, we'll probably Marketing. find out, but I think we're all just assuming now they're just lining up with years. It's 2020 S20. Then they're gonna have 21. To, so basically, can have the model for that year by just following their naming scheme. Is I think is kind of what we're assuming. Well, what's the the dumb American consumer gonna do? Go into the Verizon store and buy an S20 or an iPhone 12? I mean, 20 is better than 12. So gotta I mean, go with is, the Galaxy. Right. That is the other thing. Then you just you have a higher number. Sounds yep. bigger. We beat them. Bigger the we better got, in old America, checkmate, right? Apple checkmate. <laughs> we got gotcha. you. That's easy. Yeah. So uh, anyway, that's next week. That's uh, February 11th. That is Tuesday, right? That's Tuesday? Tuesday. Unfortunately, yep. I'll be in San Francisco covering it. Um, you'll see me in my little face mask. And sure. uh, now I'll be looking good. Looking sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. San Francisco. So West Coast time. So if you're waking up early uh on the west coast you should be fine that's probably like what is it like an 11 a.m start 10 a.m 11 a.m correct 11 a.m doors at 10 show starts at 11 i believe yeah so afternoon show out there on the east coast but 11 a.m so i like it when they do these west coast ones because usually they're Mm. they're 11 a.m eastern so for us westies they're uh, a little early just westies just crawling out of bed at that time true uh, all right, so that's about it for Samsung stuff. Uh, just quickly, if you have a Pixel phone, February update dropped this week. So Monday, February update. I believe it was available right away. I mean, I think you got it, didn't you? I got it on my Pixel 3a. Day one, baby. Yeah, I had manually updated it on my 4XL, So, but it sounded like everyone else was pretty much able to pull it. So uh, absolutely nothing cool about the update. Nope. <laughs> there's, there's like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six six bug fixes basically most of them for the pixel four like something about a stuck boot a uh, stuck Stuck boot boot. Uh, a stuck video recording a overexposure issue an nfc broken issue and ui crashing in the assistant i don't know if i had any of those issues to be honest but uh i'm glad that they fixed them and then there's security fixes. I mean, it's like the weakest update we've had. I know it's just a security patch. I shouldn't expect new features and things like that, but they fixed some significant things recently. This one just seems like, you know, maybe we're just tightening things up here. Pixel phones. I think what's what's annoying for me as just a user is I never like whenever I come across something that I think it might be janky or buggy or glitchy. I don't know if it's Android or an app. I mean, they've broken everything up into so many different apps and services. Like if something breaks, I don't even know what it is. So yeah. I I almost like stop caring on my personal phone. Like if something isn't working, I say like, whatever and just like put it back in my pocket. I'm just kind of <laughs> over it. <laughs> you're, over, you're over trying to fix anything. Well, pretty much, yeah. I mean, because everyone else comes to me with their problems, so I, I don't even have time for my own problems, my own tech problems. That is so. Ben says, uh, "YouTube picture and picture bug still there. Great. What bug is that? <laughs> See, I don't know. Not sure. Nick always also manually still some, side loads. Cool. Yeah, some audio playback and notification issue. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> you and I don't <laughs> use our phones at all. We're like, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I know. I feel terrible." Um, yeah, real quick before we get too deep, did we go over donations already? No, let's do that. Sorry, we I totally forgot that. about donations. Uh, there's one I want to touch on. I know, I'll only take a short moment of your time. We can get into it later. But Charles W says, Tim, that was a tough one. And the Niner forums are hitting the cut Jimmy G nuke button. Anyway, yeah. I have droid life to cheer me up. Charles with a $10 donation. Thank you so much, Charles. Yeah, we'll talk about Jimmy here a little bit later. Yeah, at the uh, end of the show. Yeah, Riggs, I think, is going to get an earful from me. He said yeah, he some is. stuff I'm going to have to talk about. Um, we'll have to just school him up right quick. <laughs> Sarah Washington, $1 trans rights. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much for the dollar. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for the donations. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just keep it, keep it moving here. I don't want to get mad about the 49ers. We're only like 10 minutes into this thing. All right, let's 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 talk about this little guy right here. Oh yeah, let's get mad about this thing instead. Um, so Motorola Razor is back. 
There's a, I don't know what to call this. The the 2020 Razer, the 2019 Razer that released in 2020. I don't, you know, there was a first announced in 2019 and it released in 2020. Anyway, the new Razer, uh, it is, it is foldable here before I start doing this. Let me just clear out some notifications here. Um, so yeah, there's a new foldable on the block. So look at, it folds, folds. Oh, look at it held there. I didn't think it actually did that. Um, it, uh, you know, what's, what, what should we say about this? $1,500 foldable flip phone, which open seems up Instagram, which seems like absurd. Open up me, Instagram. Yeah. Let me see all those bikini models you follow. I mean, I do follow some bikini models. I just want to make sure it's not like friends. I follow like a thousand thoughts. There's Instagram. <laughs> what, what did you want to see on Instagram? I just, I just kind of like want to see how it yeah looks like. It's just, like what other app long... can you use on there? Twitter and not Instagram. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> There's, um, yeah. So ASL baby. <laughs> AOL. Fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, mid range specs for the most part. Mid range processor. Mm-hmm. Um, you do have like six gig RAM, hundred twenty gig storage, and all that stuff. Display is not quite. Uh, it's not 1080p. So I, I actually fired up a YouTube video and it maxes at 720p. Mm. Like, I'm not kidding. In the controls for a video, I, I think the unboxing of this, I opened it real quick and was like, oh, let's see how high we can get this. And I went, oh, yeah, it's like a 720p. So our our unboxing's in 4K. Yeah, you can't you can't even choose that. Um, so I've had it for almost 24 hours. And I guess my thoughts are like, this is probably not it. Um, you know, $1,500 for a phone with these kind of specs. The cameras just are like single 16 megapixel. There's no image stabilization. There's electronic image stabilization, not optical. So not the good image stabilization. Like I took a couple of pictures last night. You know, you're, you're never going to want to take pictures with this. thing. <laughs> oh, great. You're just, you're just not it. Uh, it's not a good camera. Um, you know, like I have some issues just with usability. I know they were keeping like the iconic razor, like chin and design, but like using that and as a modern smartphone where there's like gestures and things like this hump is constantly just in your way. And there's like this weird curvature to the bottom. So like when you're typing on the keyboard, it's like too high up and I keep missing keys and things like there's just some usability issues. Like the buttons are way up here on the side, unless it's closed and they're here. So you have to like remember where buttons are every time, depending on which mode you're in just little cover display that shows you notifications. I don't know. The fingerprint reader is pretty good. You know, it's nice to have a fingerprint reader back. Watch this. Oh yeah. So it's running Android nine. It's running Android nine. It's 2020 and Motorola just released a phone that's running Android nine, not Android 10. So I don't even have dark mode. You know what it's like going reverse from living with dark mode on every phone for the last like eight months and now not. Yeah, but that's the future. This is not the future. This could have sworn it's not even like satisfying. Like, first of all, it's kind of hard to get open. Like, like you can kind of one thumb it to push it open. Well, can you flick it? No, because you look at it. It's like stopped right there. So like you have to like kind of keep going like. Mm. Yeah, so you can't even flick it. So you can't like. It's not even like the old razor. I mean, you could like <laughs> you could see Star Trek that thing. See that? It like stopped. It's like the hinge is too tight. There, I'm I mean, to almost break this thing. Um, and then like, and then the, you don't get the like that satisfying like clap that old like, flip. Like it's just kind of like thunk. clap go. It just goes. <laughs> yeah. It just kind of goes thunk. Like I don't. So like those satisfying things aren't there. You know, even like, the Galaxy Fold had a nice. It did. Click to it. it had a boom. It's because it had those magnets. I think this thing just. Uh, I you hate know. it. You know, like, like there's definitely like a crease, right? It's, you're not gonna right be able to pick this up. The there's a crease middle. right here, and then here's the hinge. So this isn't uh, the hinge crease, but there's <laughs> like a crease. There's a crease right there. I can see it already. I don't know if that was there or not. Oh, I see where it is. So when you push this, when you fold it, the screen's like sucks in, right? So it can right. get, make room. And that's where this new crease is, is like right there. It, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Dude. See how it like bends yeah, in yeah. and there's like it. a new uh, crease. I see the reflection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the crease like is staying. Um, that's not good. Uh, but you can feel like it just feels like a plastic screen. You remember like you played with the the fold. Remember, it definitely felt like a plastic screen. So this yeah. feels like that, except like 
I don't know if the mic will pick this up or not, but there's like, there's like this thud right here in the middle. <laughs> what is that? And then if yeah. you go up here, listen, it's not there. No thud. See, no thud. It's because thud. the screen, there's a space between the screen and the insides. So every time you tap on it or swipe or, or use your, like your keyboard, whatever, you get this. Mm. And then up here, see nothing. No thud. Yeah. You know, this thing is not... Uh, I'm, tr it. I'm trying not to be terrible about it because I need to use it for a while. I've also found it just a pain to like have to flip open a phone. Like every time I want to check something, I'm like, well, I got to open it now. Like the Galaxy Fold, like you at least had a mini screen that did everything. Wait, wait, wait. Tim, this phone is $1,500. <laughs> Well, the camera, I mean, you've only shown me one sample from it. It looks god awful. <laughs> like, I, no, I no, this st no optical stabilization. <laughs> it's just terrible. I sent him this, like, dark ish restaurant picture of a burger that I ate last night when I turned night mode on and I snapped three pictures. One of them pulled focus like eight miles in the background. The second one was semi blurry, and the third one was like okay, but the, the picture just obviously wasn't great. Um, so CNET, CNET did their like fold test on it over the last day, which they also did with the Galaxy Fold, which they have this contraption that basically just folds and unfolds, folds and unfolds. And uh, the Galaxy Fold lasted like over 100,000 folds or something like that. This thing died at, they said, 27,000. So, you know, basic math, open your phone 100 times a day. And uh, you're not going to make it a year <laughs> with your, with your $1,500 phone. Um, and, you know, I don't know that their their test is the most scientific thing ever, but they did just take a phone off the shelf and throw it on a thing and unfold it and it, and it and it broke. So, you know, that's not good. And then, of course, Samsung has the that's Galaxy Z idea. Flip coming in like four days, which will be priced around the same and offer like actual specs and will have a real camera and won't have this like large chin. And it's supposed to have like a thin glass experience over it, not just this plasticness. Yeah. It'll be better. You can't. So, I think we already know that. Yeah. This is not a phone anyone should buy. That is 100%. And, I, and again, I haven't even had it for 24 hours. Like, you just should not for this price. That was easy. That was, that was easy. Um, you know, you can't really get them right now. Apparently, they didn't make very many. Remember, they, they said they were delaying it because they had to meet demand. And then they put them up for pre-order a few weeks ago. And, like, the, the shipping dates just started moving out. So, they clearly still were not up to demand's needs there. Uh, but, like, they didn't give any to review people. Like, no, no, nobody has, like, review units. And then you can't really walk into a store and buy one. So, it's a very weird launch. Remember, they hosted this big event, which they didn't invite us to. But it was this big event. They're like, it's back. They were in L.A. It was fancy. There was influencers and YouTubers. And they were they were like, the Razor's back. And then they were going to sell the thing. And then now, like, they don't even want to mention it. If you go to Motorola's website right now, they have, like, a banner, like, main featured image thing that scrolls across the top. And there's, like, I think four different images up there. The Razor's the fourth one. Like, you have mm. to click through the scrolling thing, like, four times before you will see that the Razor's available. It's almost like they realized how bad it is, and they're just burying it before it, like, embarrasses them too much or something. I'm not. I'm actually not sure. It's a very, very weird launch for what should be such an important phone. There's someone in here speaking a different language that I don't know. Oh, that's, uh, that's some type of alien type of thing i play uh, borderlands 3 and that looks like the the language that uh, oh. in there. i'm pretty sure it's danish though. well there's lars and i think he's talking with this with this other dude so i, yeah. I wish i knew what you guys were talking about sorry <laughs> i wish i could speak danish actually i mean no offense to danish but there's a there's a lot of languages i think i'd rather speak first uh, spanish would be mostly helpful well, it would be helpful, but, you know yeah. german would be kind of cool look at this box though it's a cool box. Kind of cool. A little Razor logo there. A little bat wing back there. Mm. You can apparently like put the phone in there <laughs> and it like these are speaker holes or something. I don't know. It comes with a thing that looks like a glasses case too. It's got goodies in there. Yeah. I don't really want to take them all out because yeah, uh, probably we all not saw the have. unboxing. Yeah. Yeah. There's an unboxing. Go watch that or something. Let me get this thing back on here. Anyway. So, uh, you know, the Razor's here. We'll probably have a review up 
no. shortly. <laughs> I don't really have much more to say about it just because it's not. It's just not a serious phone. At fifteen hundred dollars, it's not a serious phone. Yeah, and then hopefully soon we'll have a Galaxy Z Flip in house. Now that's a serious phone. Now that's a phone. (laughs) Yeah, that's a phone that has modern specs and uh, you know will run Android ten at Mm. least. The camera won't you know won't let you down. Jay is asking how battery life is so far. I mean, have you really even used it all that much? Yeah, I haven't really. Like, I I basically got it set up yesterday and didn't have a chance to use it much. Um, I plugged in my Pixel charger to it uh, this morning and it didn't even register that and didn't charge. So so then I had to charge it like this morning for a couple hours. So I've been on it for off the charger for probably three and a half hours. It's down to 77 percent. Definitely not um, heavy usage here. I don't know. The battery is tiny, 2510. So, good God. Probably not last a while. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah, Lars, uh, Snapdragon 855 and the Z Flip, we believe. And the Z Flip. That now, that's a real phone. Yeah, so uh, no, no 865, no 5G, but whatever. You don't need either of those things. And then I think it was, who was it? Was it Ben? Ben, was it you? Yeah, Ben was asking about pricing. Like, what if it was a seven hundred dollar phone or sure, a five hundred dollar phone? Really, seven. you think you'd pay seven hundred bucks for that thing? I wouldn't. That camera I mean, sucks. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. I it's wouldn't. It's not usable. But it's seven hundred. <laughs> it's like possibly in the consideration on like a cheap monthly payment plan. <laughs> yeah, I, you know. Yeah, it's actually tough. You're right because the camera. So that's so that's the thing with foldables. The price is astronomical because of this new tech, right? And so they put all this this work into it and, and whatever uh, and all these resources into making it. And so they're pricing it really high, but it still has to be a good phone. Like you're not just going to buy a $1,500 phone because it looks like the old Razer and has a foldable screen. If the software is old and crappy and the battery life sucks and the camera is awful and it's never going to get updates and all of that stuff, like why would you, you wouldn't consider it. So that's why Motorola screwed up so bad. Like, with Samsung with the fold, they threw everything in it. Sure, the mm. fold had its issues, but really good camera, t- like 12 gig RAM, the fastest storage you could get, high res displays. I mean, they put everything in there, whereas Motorola did not do that at all. They like put old stuff. It's just it's very weird. It's very weird. So, uh, yeah, don't buy one. Maybe go play with one in the store, but you know. If you're playing within a store, it's probably opening more than 100 times a day. It might not be around long. Mm. It might hit that 27,000 real quick. Yeah, they probably have to replace those units pretty darn quick. You're right. A mm-hmm. um, couple of donations I want to get to real quick. No yep. Seeds B no uh, with seeds two B. bucks. Two bucks says Patriots are still the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Brady, I mean, though. I mean, not. what's up with what's happening here? <laughs> mm-hmm. Tom, you coming back? Tom's coming what, back, right? What's it, what's he gonna do? Well, Lars with another dono says TB12 will be back. Sarcasm. <laughs> oh, with the fifty dollar kroner bomb. Thank you, Lars. Do we know for TB12? sure? TB12 is, is he that really not tuberculosis or something? Oh, Tom Brady. Well, okay. I was like, I didn't know what the heck that was talking. He's about. talking about Tom Brady. Yeah. I was like, tuberculosis strain twelve. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I got you, Lars. Yeah. Uh, I got viruses on the mind, man. I'm, I'm sketched yeah, I out. I actually I'm not... am semi worried that you have to travel. Yeah, well, that's okay. Actually, kind of sketch. Like any yeah. anybody I've seen traveling is definitely like wearing face masks, which they probably should be. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Brady. We can talk about Brady and we'll talk about and all that later. stuff at the end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, all right. So to recap, I have a razor. I'll review it very soon because there's not really much here to talk about or say. It's not a phone you should buy. You just shouldn't. We said this about the Galaxy Fold, but at least that offered like a compelling package of ideas and software and specs. This doesn't have any of that. And it may not even last as long as the Galaxy Fold and the camera's buns. So, nope. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Wait till next Uh, week with the Z Flip. Uh, premium gear DK. Have you guys heard that Samsung just canceled all activities at MWC due to Corona? I haven't heard about 
the Samsung one. I know LG canceled LG all of their uh, MWC events. Samsung doesn't really even have too much of a presence in terms of the smartphone, really. I'm sure they're still there, maybe in some small capacity. I don't know, maybe just for meetings, but I didn't know if they had like a booth or whatever. I've never been to MWC. I really don't even know what it's like. <laughs> I'm so, pretty sure they have a big booth and that they would normally hold some sort of event, but they haven't announced that they're doing anything because they're obviously announcing everything next week. They'll for sure have a presence at MWC. I've not seen them say they're canceling anything. And they certainly have not said that they're canceling next week, right? Yeah, no, I who? Samsung? Yeah. No, I would I would I would be one of the first to get the email, I'd hope, and I haven't I gotten hope it. So too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think we're definitely still on for next week. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's too bad. Uh and now our chat has just evolved into Jimmy choked. <laughs> like they Riggs is just trying to trigger you. He's, he's trying. trying to, he's trying to get blocked right quick. <laughs> but no, I won't do it. I don't care. If you would have caught me on a Monday, like on that Monday or Tuesday, it would have been goodbye. <laughs> but Dude, nah, just, we're good. He's just going to ban everyone. Yeah. It's, it's been a week. Or it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> now we're good. Said MW, he said MWC canceled for them. I don't know. LG did for sure. And ZTE. But I don't, I don't know about Samsung. I mean, I yeah. just even Googled it and no one has written that up. So I don't know where you're hearing that unless they announced it internally. I'm not really sure. Anyway. Yeah, not sure. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so other Motorola news. Let's move out of this uh, this foldable stuff. So um, XDA found or was sent pictures of what they believe is one of Motorola's new phones for next year. Uh, they actually expect to be two new phones. Um one super high end, one sort of mid range ish. The pictures they have are of the mid range ish one, but they believe they'll look exactly the same as the high end one. Anyway, the the terrible news there is that they're going to have curved displays. So there's been this tease. I think Evleaks was the first to tease this Edge Plus name from Motorola, and then XDA posted these pictures that show a phone with the sort of waterfallish, steep drop off, curved display. Uh, Motorola invited us to their MWC event and in the like teaser, they said like, you'll be on the edge of your seat or something like that. And they like bold italics to edge, like they were hinting at there being an edge. So we're pretty sure Motorola's next phones will have, um, curved displays, which look, you guys know, neither of us are fans of the curved display at this point. And to be honest, I think a lot of other people are falling in line with that. I think everyone is over the curved display thing, but you know, here's Motorola five years later, jumping on board with it. Um, the big news about these phones is uh, 90 Hertz display, uh, 90 Hertz refresh rate displays, um, maybe up to 12 gig RAM, lots of storage, lots of cameras, giant batteries, all that stuff. Um, so Motorola Edge Plus is kind of what we're looking for. I have this bad feeling it's going to be a Verizon exclusive because Motorola cannot seem to get rid of the Verizon partnership thing. And I know they've had a lot of success in the past, um, but uh, I just wish they would stop. But, you know, maybe they haven't had any success on AT&T and T-Mobile and Sprint. And so they're like, yeah, I mean, they did try with the Moto Z, what, two, three, mm. four, one of those they got on all the carriers. The problem with that is like the phone was bad, so. Anyways, um, so we do have new Motorola flagship to watch out for, and we expect that to be announced at MWC, this new Edge Plus phone. So we'll know. <clears throat> I mean, they said um, that they were going to announce their first flagship in years at the beginning of the year. So MWC makes a lot of sense there. Does anyone care about Motorola anymore? Like, even if they put out an Edge phone, like, I know, like, maybe the G fans, something like, I just, no one That's buys right, their G high end today. phones, we haven't written man. Those up. Uh, like well, no one's buying made... those Z's. No, the Z was a failure, failure of a line, and then they had just exited the premium tier market for like basically two years because of that. Because they put everything into the Z line, and it just didn't do like the mod thing. It just it it died. So they they sell lots of G and E phones, and I, I think maybe those Motorola One phones are making. I think they may sell those too. So they had a successful year last year in terms of not losing money. They made some money. Um, so they've kind of flipped that and it's all based off of these like mid range and low range phones in other countries. Um, so they're doing that, but competing in the high end is, I mean, look, Google's trying and failing. Like it's Google with the pixel and they can't sell, they can't compete with Samsung and Apple, um, and OnePlus, And then all these other Chinese brands, right? They like, 
there's just a couple players up there in Huawei that are so high up that everyone just goes back to that it's hard for somebody else to. And I, like, I don't know if Motorola will ever be able to compete at the high end again. I can't imagine this Edge Plus phone is going to like be the next winner. Like Samsung's been doing Edge phones for seriously how long now? I mean, there was the first one was the Note S6. No, what was the Note Edge with the one slanted edge? Remember that phone with the one oh. slant? Oh, God. Yeah. What was which the, one the was Note? That? Uh, what oh, was man. the Note Edge, but which Note a, year was, was that? Two? Three? No, it was later. It was four, right? Okay. Maybe it was four. Or <laughs> five be. at the latest. <laughs> I'm trying to know. think what year that was. Note four, Nick says. Um. So, yeah, they. I mean, we're at Note. We're going to be at Note 20, possibly, right? <laughs> well, jump. yeah, I mean, technically. But, uh, yeah. but that's still like. And we did we skip one? We we certainly had one that oh yeah the yeah seven. we skipped one. <laughs> we skipped the seven. Well, no, we skipped the eight. Remember they jumped up to match the S line. Yeah, we like we went to seven. And that would have been the. I think the eight. We skipped, but there was no Note eight, right? We skipped one because they wanted to match up to the S like line. So like skip, they had the bomb. The six. the six. Was it the six they skipped then? Oh, Jesus, skipped dude. six. Ben says of, skipped six. So what is the point? <laughs> Where are you going with this? What's I was the... trying to count how many years they've been doing curved displays, and I was like, oh, and then I was like, well, they skipped one, and then we're going to twenty. I was going to say years. Anyway. They've been doing it for a few years now. Yeah, we've got like at least probably six years of curved displays. Anyway, Motorola is finally jumping on that, and if they think like calling a phone the Edge Plus, which not only is confusing because Samsung has already had phones called Edge Plus. Mm. Like you're just, you're not doing anything new there, Motorola. And we know your cameras will still probably be awful. Mm. So anyways, I, I, what you were saying is, does anyone care about Motorola? Right. I think like I tend to just because like the Motorola Droid oh, no, and like the what? history there. But when it comes down to it, like, no, I don't actually think people do, which is sad to say, but I just I don't really think people do. They've been irrelevant for a long time at the top tier, not in the mid range, but at the top. And I should have clarified, you know, I meant in the U.S. for this kind of high range. Of course, Moto's mid range game is strong right. uh, and especially outside of the U.S. So, yeah. yes, shout out to Brazil and all those places where Motorola just dominates yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, in Brazil, they are still the kings, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see, Pixel 4a news. Uh, so XDA claims they found exact evidence that says mm. the Pixel 4a is this code name Sunfish phone, which Sunfish we've been tracking for a while. So there's Sunfish, Bramble, Redfin are the three names we think are Pixel 4a phones. They said they found actual evidence that says the Google Pixel 4a is the Sunfish. So the only the only way, reason that's news is that Red or I'm sorry, Sunfish runs a Snapdragon 730, which is not a 5G phone. So we may have a Pixel 4a with no 5G, which mm. I think is great because that means the price might not be terrible. And then that leaves two other phones, these Bramble and Redfins that do run a 5G version of a Snapdragon chip. So there's a chance we end up with three Pixel 4a phones, one with no mm. 5G, two with 5G. Mm. Uh, what's what's going to be fun to see there is... uh the the difference that 5G makes in terms of pricing because you'll see it right if there really are three and one's non 5G like it could be 420 bucks and then if those other ones because of 5G are now like 600 that I mean it just shows you how awful 5G is going to be for a while because of those price increases. I just uh, I still don't believe in 5G like I you know I believe that it exists uh, <laughs> but I don't believe. <laughs> I don't believe that it's going to benefit me in terms of, you know, as a consumer right now. Yeah, you know, I just don't think I should make that investment into it um, because it is an investment. Obviously, when you got to pay more for a phone that has it. Um, yeah. So if I was going to go out of my way to buy a 4A, I don't know if I would want the 5G version. I probably wouldn't. Yeah. And I'm really hoping uh, that these phones kick ass, man, because me too. I, I'm like, I'm like really pulling for the four a's that four a just the a line in general so it's kind, it's kind of weird but yeah it's like the uh, phone i'm most looking forward to i know samsung's galaxy s20 is gonna be great i know oh, there's three different ones within two weeks like you just yeah like yeah. i know those will be great like i really want a pixel 4a because i liked the the plasticness of the 3a so much and these <laughs> ones are they don't have the stupid head that, or the head, the stupid yeah. forehead that the 4XL has. They just look better, man. It's going to have a fingerprint reader. Like, I can't tell you. I know. 
That's huge. Like my favorite thing about this stupid phone is the fingerprint reader. Yeah. And like I fired up my 3A last week. It's sitting on my desk over there. And I was just using it just because I could use the fingerprint just reader. Good. Yeah. Uh, Sean says, uh, Tim, you haven't accepted 5G as Lord and Savior. Nope, <laughs> not yet. I'm still still praying to the four GLTE gods. Uh, and Bad News Brown says, Tim hates Google phones. Man, if you've like read anything I've like written recently, you would probably think that I absolutely hate Google phones. But in those posts, I always try and stress like, I use a Pixel 4 XL every day. Like, I know what I hate about this phone and what I want to be better about it. Like, what Google does well and what Google does poorly. Uh, I think I've mastered <laughs> pretty well in writing up some of the things I've done. So That's actually the perfect transition to the next topic, oh. then. Tim, oh, okay. 10 months early, says, uh, hey, guys, forget oh, the rest of the year. Forget yeah. the rest of the year. This is what I need to see in the Pixel 5. Do you, do you want to run through what exactly you decided you needed 10 months early from a Pixel 5? Absolutely. So let me go backwards uh, to 2019 a little bit. Months and months before the Pixel 4 uh, came along, I was talking about what Google needed to do in 2019. I said they needed to bring the heat uh, because obviously Samsung and OnePlus are are doing very well. So in order to keep up with them... Uh, I needed to see uh, a whole lot of things, actually. It was actually quite a substantial list. But in this year, I sort of reflected on the Pixel 4, said, yeah, I mean, pretty darn good phone. Uh, Could have been better. Uh, right now, the face unlock thing, at least with the with the Sully radar chip, is kind of gimmicky. All I can do still is kind of swipe through songs, still kind of waiting for some actual you know, features to come of that. So right now, they're taking up a big portion of my front and aren't giving me anything in return. Sure, face unlock is cool, but I would still uh, appreciate a fingerprint reader, as we just said. So uh, the batteries are kind of small. Video recording is kind of weak. Um, of course, they scrap. They they gave you 64 gig base st uh, storage still and scrapped 4K video recording at 60 frames a second due to that, at least according right. to you know reports on it. So storage is poor. I mean, they still only gave us six gigs of RAM, and like I get it, dude. Android can run on less than like 12 gigs of RAM. It's doable, but it's so much better when you've got more RAM. Like hey, more RAM. We need more RAM. Uh, I don't know why Android is so low optimized. Like Lars, you're a developer. Can you tell me why Android is just so poor uh, in the optimization? I don't know. There's something about it. Anyway, so let's go down my wish list with all that out of the way for what I want from the Pixel 5. First, uh, may, maybe most importantly for me, is I want Google to have something, uh, some sort of legacy design or something. You know, so from the Galaxy S6 all the way up now until the Galaxy S20, you can see like that is part of the same family of devices. And it's always looked like that since the S6. It's always the kind of subtle changes in the hardware to make things sort of uh, in tune with the time. So... I want that for the Pixel. All the Pixel phones look kind of different. Like it's hard to even tell if they're all from the same companies or within the, the same uh, same product line. So I just want something that kind of looks like the Pixel Four. I like the way the Pixel Four looks. I don't mind the the rear camera housing or anything. It's kind of kind of bulky, but I think it's very unique. It's very Google. Which is also very funny to say because every year Google does something unique for the hardware and then that's called, oh, that's very Google. <laughs> so I just want them, I guess, to keep up the uniqueness, but maybe just stay with this kind of uniqueness. Well, yeah, because uh, this looks nothing like the one, two or three. Like the no, it's Pixel exactly. one, two and three all kind of had the like two tone on the back look and they sort of had a similar feel and design. This is obviously not even close to any of those which you know so i like the look of this phone now too but yeah i get what you're saying like they used to kind of look the same even but they had pe different people building some of the phones sure and then now we just totally changed like i don't think anyone knows what a pixel phone is supposed to be half the time yeah besides having a, a phone <laughs> with a good camera so <laughs> right with that being said we've got my desired pixel 5 and 5 xl specs those include a 90 hertz plus, so I'm fine with 120 hertz if we want to bump it up to that. Oh, let's uh, go wild, yeah. Yeah, display that you don't have to force on. Yes. Right? So they implemented the smooth motion or whatever the hell they're calling it, 90 hertz. Uh, but then you've got a 
force it on in developer options because they said, oh, well, it's not optimized well enough and it's going to drain your battery because we put small batteries in these phones and we're stupid. So it's still <laughs> crazy to think that they put a 90 hertz display in a phone has like a 2700 milliamp hour battery and realized like bef right before launch that this is not going to cut it. So they limited it. One of the major features of their new phone limited it and it still had shit battery. Like, what do you think the battery life was like before <laughs> before they started limiting? Unreal. Google does unreal things. Uh, so, yeah, better display refresh rate tech in general. Uh, that I don't have to force on. So, which means bigger batteries, I suppose. Uh, latest available Snapdragon processor, of course, is going to have the latest and greatest. But the problem is the latest and greatest only lasts for two months before Qualcomm goes ahead and announces their latest Snapdragon processor. And this dates back to another post I did like months ago talking about Google needs to change up the time frame mm -hmm. of its announcements. I mean, being released later in the year is no good because we get the, the newest processors in December. So... It's not a good time. It's actually the worst time you could probably announce a it phone is. right it before is. Snapdragon's uh, developer conference. So no good. Uh, I wouldn't mind eight gigs plus of RAM, of course, because, uh, you know, Android. <laughs> uh, I need multiple rear cameras with plenty of stabilization. So unlike this new Moto Razr that lacks OIS, um, you know, Google phones have pretty good stabilization and I want them to keep that up. However, I would like them to include like an ultra wide lens or at least a bit wider than what they have right now. Of course, the standard lens is wide angle, but I need wide, like we need like wide, wide, wide. Yeah, like I want distorted wide. So take away the telephoto because I just don't care. And and every time, even when I try the telephoto, I'm not impressed by its capability. <laughs> I'm not <Like>, either. <laughs> zooming sucks. It sucks. So, so just digital take zooms are so awful. Yeah, they really they suck. So just take that. Give me my wide angle, and I'll be good. Uh, 4K 60 frames a second video recording, like we just said, uh, because they only gave you a base of 64 gigs. I had to take that away. So, Google. Yes. Uh, bring back the fingerprint reader. Give me back my unlimited Google photo storage. You freaking, I want to say it. Like, I want to, mm. yeah. <laughs> that is such a beta move I on cannot Google's believe part, they took dude. That away, yeah. How, like, are you going to say, we got the best cameras, blah, 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 and take away their storage? Like, that is so effing rude. Um, so, that relates to the 128 gig of base storage that we need on these phones. Phase unlock is good. Like, I don't mind it. If you want to have that in conjunction, more security is better than less security. So if you want to keep that top up there, that's totally fine. But at least give me more features, you know, for that huge space that you're taking yeah. up. Don't let it be a waste of space, as Marquez would say. <laughs> Uh, stereo speakers, I think that's probably a given. It's just sort of one of my desired things. Uh, fast, non-proprietary wireless charging. So sometimes, or uh, not even just the wireless charging, but fast charging in general. I am sick of so every company having their own type of charging tech. I just want to stick in a cable and it charges fast, man. Like, And I don't care like whose charger it is, if it's Samsung's or OnePlus's. Yes. Uh, screw OnePlus, by the way. Like, you know, yeah, your phone charges real fast, man, but like... Maybe license that out. Does someone else want to like take a gander at this? I don't know what. Uh, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. tired I'm frustrated by it too. I mean, it's like I said. Well, so one, for one thing, now we're at the point where the fast charging, depending on which phone, is dependent. Like it changed the speed of it changes, right? Like mm -hmm. Motorola is still calling their turbo charging turbo charging at 15 watts, right? But like, what's the, what's warp charge now? Like 40? It's like it's something crazy, right? Uh, and like Google's, I, I don't even know. Like these are numbers I shouldn't have to keep track of as a consumer. And it's like I mentioned, I plugged in Google's Pixel charger, which I use into my Pixel stand that I charge phones by my bed. Well, this thing obviously doesn't have wireless charging. So I unplugged it from the stand, plugged it in. And like I said, it didn't even charge. It just didn't register that it was a thing. Like, I don't know if that's a Motorola problem, if that's a Google proprietary charger thing. I have no idea, but like that shouldn't happen. I should be able to take a charger that's in my wall and plug it into any phone and it should just charge. God, it pisses me off. I think uh, so. I hate it when I plug in my Google Pixel 4 XL and it says charging rapidly and then it, it'll say we'll finish charging in like three hours. Yes. Like what is rapid? This is not I rapid. Have, I got places to be, Google. And you put a small battery in this thing. How am I supposed to wait three hours? Yes. <laughs> 
rapid charging. That's the other thing I don't get. Yes, guys, Google's dude. phones do not charge. I think, like, obviously no. to preserve battery integrity, they are fast when you're down in the low percentages and they slow down at the top. But, yeah, like, mm -hmm. to get to a full charge on a Pixel phone seems take to take a really, really long time. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, bigger batteries. That seems like a given. Uh, and then I want more color options, man. So yeah, that coral color, I forget even what the official color they gave it, but Oh, uh, so orange. That's not even orange, it's peachish. It's stupid. So Basically give me coral, better, like give me a red, give me a green, give me a blue, like give me some actual colors that I can point to like on a color wheel and say, Oh, I know what color that is. Like, why do we always have to make it like you know, like this mystery that we have to solve as to what they're going to call it. Like, can we just stop with the, the nonsense and just like get back to making a good phone? Yeah. Yeah. And then you have, lastly, I said, we got to make it undeniable. And I think, you know, I said that last year for the pixel four, um, I was like, this phone's got to be undeniable, man. Or people are just going to keep buying the Samsung's and the one pluses. Like how is Google ever supposed to get a hold of the market? If they keep making phones that have compromises, and again, they made they a phone with, <laughs> with compromises this year. They compromised the refresh rate, compromised the battery, compromised the video recording, compromised the storage. Uh, and so when you're paying $900 for the 4XL, and we don't, I don't even think of the Pixel 4 because that phone, the battery life is so, it's so bad, bad yeah, no you just wouldn't even recommend it to anyone. So when I think Pixel 4 pricing, I just start at $900 because that's the only phone you should think about buying yeah, is the 4XL. So when you're paying 900 bucks. Which is almost Moto Razor. That's more than half the Moto Razor. You should be getting some pretty darn good specs for nine hundred bucks, and then they they still they 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 don't provide. So so there's that. Uh, Pixel Five basically needs to blow me out of the water. I'm switching to an iPhone. That's that's my next post. My next post is super clickbait. It's gonna be like I'm I'm this close to switching to iPhone. <laughs> And it's going to be... If the Pixel 5 doesn't win, I'm switching to <laughs> iPhone for good. It's perfect. Yeah, I love well, it. Yeah. yeah. So there's that. Uh, really <laughs> looking forward to the 4A. I think the 4A is probably going to be better than the 5. I mean, just <laughs> knowing how Google does their business. Like, yeah. I mean, they brought in Rick Osterloh, of all people. Like, you know, Rick, you're a nice guy and stuff. I don't know if you know anything about the phone business. <laughs> <laughs> He was in charge of Motorola for a while. He was like there with the transition when when Google like Google bought them, and he and was like I think on board. And Motorola then when they sold bad. Motorola back off to Lenovo, he was like around during that transition, and he was probably just waiting out a contract so he could come back to Google, and then that's when he made that transition back. But Rick seems like a nice guy. I have no idea if he uh, yeah knows how to make an incredible smartphone. What sucks is every time I go into a Best Buy, I go to pick up the iPhone 11 Pro, not the Max, just like the Pro. That oh, phone yeah. is so feels so good in hand, and that green color they the got, green man. Dope. Yeah. The display looks good, like, and the cameras are really good now. It's just really kind of like pisses me off. The uh, operating system sucks, so just keep that in mind. Oh yeah, sure, but they got all the apps. They've got all the apps. Yeah, They've got Tiny Wings. It's still an app jukebox. App jukebox got to get an apple watch i think they're like on the fifth gen now are those right yeah, those, are gen actually, those are actually those are actually legit yeah yeah those are dope so a lot of good stuff coming from the apple camp well the computers are still trash but yeah, they are. anyway anything else about the pixel 5 we got a ways to go we'll see how it unfolds we got time we, we got still got time. a 4a coming yeah all right uh let's see google maps turned uh turned 15 15 years this week uh, to celebrate, it got a new icon, which I'm with you. I don't like it. I like the old Google Maps icon. Now it's like a point on a map thing. I, I don't like it. There's too much white around it. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. Um, and then they added like a new tab or something to the app. I mean, it's not really that cool of a celebration for it being 15. That said, what the hell would we do without Google Maps? <laughs> Like life we, would be so pretty awful. Yahoo, I think Yahoo Maps still. What was the one that used to do? Um, Bang. No, what was the one that used to do directions that you would print? What was that? Wasn't that? Called? That wasn't Yahoo Maps or? No. Uh, what was that called? Somebody's gonna get it in the I'm chat. I'm sure someone will remember. It was the one where like, older yeah, than me. I'm only look 30. Things up. Like even when I moved to Portland in 2005, I remember like I had like the stack of Map like Quest. Map, Map Quest. Quest. <laughs> 
Yes, MapQuest. I mean, that was like life. all these old like, people in the chat. You <laughs> they all know about MapQuest. And you, I'm too young. And you printed your turn by turn directions. And then thankfully, Google Maps. I mean, I like I couldn't survive without Google Maps. Every time I leave my house, I open Google Maps and go, all right, show me how awful traffic is in Portland today. And uh, oh. and then I navigate based off of what that tells me. Like, it's part of like my routine every day, <laughs> no matter what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, Ben says, used it to navigate to my prom. <laughs> yup. Map quest. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, I just thought you used to have like the stack of them, like, like, especially if I was driving by myself, right? And it had been like a few days of like commuting or something. And you look over and like on the floor of your passenger seat, there's like a little stack of map quest <laughs> pages. Like, yeah. And then Ben real. follows up with now Google Maps tells you where the cops are. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> I know, if I had right? this one, I, if I had Google Maps in high school, I would have gotten in, well, maybe I would have gotten in no trouble at all because I would have known everything. But yeah. to think that Google Maps came out when I was just 15 years old, I haven't even graduated high school yet. Um, Kind of ridiculous. Congratulations to the Google Maps team. Um, the icon is trash. Yeah, the um, new icon's not good. Yeah, I had to tell someone over from XDA that uh, yesterday. I was like, no, the icon's trash, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> it's not Bring great. Bring back the old one, yeah. Bring back yeah. the old one. Yeah, I really like the old one. You know, the old one had some nice color to it. Uh, this one is just so bland. Like, well, I don't the old know one... What so I have like I have an issue with icons that are designed in a way that the only way they actually work is to just slap a white background behind them. Like those are my least favorite icons. I like the ones that take up an entire icon. And then when you shape them, it just sort of cuts off corners of it or whatever. I don't like like there's a bunch of them that are doing this now. Well, it's like Gmail, right? Like Gmail, I think, does that where they basically just put a white background behind like a Gmail thing. Like mm. Google Voice is that way. Like Google Photos is that like most of the Google apps now are basically like a icon on a white background. Like come sure. on. like the one well, of their best ones is is the Keep app because it's at least yellow. Like it's at least a dang color. Hangout's still good. But all the newish ones, yeah. An icon on top of white. It's just boring. I can't stand it. Anyway, Google Maps, 15 years old. We love you, Google Maps. Love you, Google Maps. All right. All these old people are super mad that I called them old in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys aren't Yeah, there's old. an F you, Tim. I'm 32. Yeah, you and just I know what MapQuest know, is. <laughs> yeah, you just happen to know that it was called MapQuest. I mean, come <laughs> on, dude. I'm so old, I forgot what it was called. Mm. <laughs> uh, what was that? Someone else said something funny that I really appreciated. Um Oh, yeah. Josh says that he actually likes the new icon better. I could see how someone might think that it's cleaner. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and I, t I appreciate that. So it'll look good everywhere except as an icon on your phone. Like Maybe. when they when they use it on the Web, when they refer <laughs> to it in anything, it'll actually look good. I, I just can't stand the icon on the phone because it's just a circle white background with a oh. the new logo on top. MapQuest. Map quest. Freaking map quest. Get that tattooed somewhere on me. Yeah. Oh, would that fit on the NUX? No. Wait, Q U yeah, E S T Map Quest. Oh, <laughs> how much? How much, guys? Can we get the uh, GoFundMe going? Fifty <laughs> grand. I will do Map Quest on my NUX. <laughs> Fifty grand. <laughs> Somebody drops like a hundred dollar dono right now. Tim will go get Map Quest on his. <laughs> it's gonna have to be a lot more than a hundred bucks, man. More. And yeah, I'm gonna need to cover the tattoo yeah. costs. I'm going to need some guaranteed employment because it's going to be hard to get a job after this. Like once the blog's done, like getting a job with MapQuest. <laughs> Map <-Quest. laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I think MapQuest tried to create an app or two and everyone just went, you know what? We, we've already we're done printing instructions. We don't want to use your map anymore. We just want Google Maps. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yes, Nux, Nux. I don't. I guess I don't enunciate very well enough. But oh, yes, everyone's talking like you said nuts. Nux. You were <laughs> yeah. like demonstrating. Is this supposed to be what your nuts look like? Like yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was gonna say. <laughs> Here's my nuts. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, anyway. Off the rails, real quick. Um, yep. Sunto Seven. 
<laughs> yeah, thirty second watch talk with Kellen. Yeah, uh, so, so, Take your nap. We need now, to have like folks. a <laughs> ding, 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 like put thirty seconds on the yeah. clock, and like we need to have a can. We need to like make this an official talk thing. Uh, Sunto Seven. This is the uh, Sunto is a. Are they Swedish? Swedish brand? Danish? Swedish? Swedish? Finnish, dude. Oh shit! <laughs> Finnish brand. Uh, anyway, Sunto I makes. They make uh, workout sport watches. So like this thing, this is like a Garmin sport watch. Suto makes those like the serious ones for triathletes, ultra marathoners, those people. I'm not that. I don't know why I have this, but um, they did send me one to test. And this one's in, it's worth noting just because it's uh, Wear OS. It's their first Wear OS watch. Uh, I've had it on the wrist for a little while now. Unfortunately, I've had to take it off because I'm testing a razor and Wear OS is such a garbage operating system that if I want to switch it, this from my Pixel to the razor i have to factory reset it and reset it up and i don't know if you've ever set up a wear os watch but it takes like four hours so anyway uh the short part here is uh it's fitness watch big battery the screen's really nice on it it should let you do all sorts of good fun workouty things and run around the mountains and all that stuff i think the battery life's still going to be awful and i'm actually surprised that they made this move into wear os i don't actually think it was a smart move 500 dollars for this beast and it is a beast. It's like 47 millimeters and it's it's thick. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know that this was a smart play from Sunto, who's known for making some of the nicer uh, sport watches around. And uh, we'll have a review soon. That's it. That was more than 30 seconds. Part of that, that was a ra- okay. part of that was a rant about Wear OS still not <laughs> allowing you to connect to a new phone without for like fully wiping it. Yeah, Unreal. and technically, I don't know if that goes counts towards maybe your time. I don't yeah, know. I th- yeah, okay. that was like a separate rant. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. All right. Uh, now we're talking about BlackBerry. Uh, Rip BlackBerry. Yeah, BlackBerry's for apparently now. gone again for now, maybe. Um, so for those who haven't followed along, BlackBerry died a while ago. <laughs> and they uh, they then decided to be, uh, be, well, I should say they were sort of like reborn again as a, a licensed name. And TCL actually took on the name, licensed the name, and made phones as BlackBerry logo and everything. Even used some software from the actual BlackBerry company that I believe still exists. What 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 does the BlackBerry now do for software? They make like car software or something like that. Isn't that what BlackBerry does now? It's something weird like that. Something kind of random. Mm, Uh, Anyway, so TCL was making BlackBerry phones. They were all terrible. Uh, I think we reviewed a couple of them at one point and didn't have very great things to say. And then they stopped talking to us about them. Oh. Um, they were uh, they were not good. Not like not a single one of them. I know there's like some special YouTube bros and blog bros out there that swear by BlackBerry phones. Like there was a time like a couple years ago where like some of the uh, fellow Android journos in our space like tried to call the blackberry like their favorite phone. it was like the key one or something they're like this is my favorite android phone of the year and i'm like no it is not please stop trying to tell all these other people because you used to love a blackberry that they should consider no they shouldn't anyway tcl's licensing partnership uh is running out in august and so at that time we don't know if blackberry is just gone forever or if somebody else will pick up the name and make something but for now it's rest in peace blackberry again Again, again. Hopefully this time for good. <laughs> they just, you know, no one needs a physical keyboard and a phone anymore. Few people, I should say. I shouldn't say no one. Few people. Yeah, well, there's always going to be that that niche, uh, that niche where people just like want that thing. Uh, I guess that takes them back to their childhood. Well, it's, uh, it's, it kind of know. is like these are the same thing. people who used MapQuest still. I guarantee it. Anyone who anyone who likes <laughs> BlackBerry phones, you probably like MapQuest. Still. Well, so That's the big BlackBerry like crowd are the same people that got really excited when this phone was announced. They were yeah. like, oh, I just cannot wait to get this new Razer. It's just bringing back all these memories and it has mm. this retro mode. And I just cannot wait. It's going to be so amazing. And then they overlooked the fact that the specs were awful <laughs> and it still costs 1500 bucks. Those are the same people that like the BlackBerry phones from Android. So anyways, it's depressing. <sighs> we did. We ran a poll that asked if anyone's doing uh, mobile huh. payments these days. And uh, well, 45% said yes all the time. Mm. Uh, 31% said yes, but only sometimes. 13% mm. said I've never used mobile payments. Good and 12% said I have one installed, but don't use it. Wow. Um, I use it sometimes. 
I'm a Google Pay guy. I don't know why I don't like Samsung Pay. I don't use Samsung phones, but um, I use Google Pay sort of frequently. Part of my issue is because I switch phones so much, I forget which phones I have Google Pay actually set up on. And so then sometimes I'm at like a grocery store and I go, I like tap my phone and it's like set up Google Pay. And then I just feel like an ass and I have to like get my credit card out. Mm. You, you, you like payments. I love payments, uh, but only when I'm using Samsung phones because I love Samsung Pay. Don't really care for Google Pay because then I have to worry about whether the terminal I'm at accepts it or not. Uh, with Samsung Pay, I can use it virtually at any credit card terminal. So, yeah, I love Samsung Pay. Too bad I've got this Pixel 4XL. Sucks. <laughs> you know how you can fix phone that? doesn't do nothing. You know how you can fix uh, that? Get the get Galaxy, Galaxy S20. Get a Galaxy Watch Active 2. Oh, because eh. I think it has MST built in. Yeah, but like, wait, does that have, have MST a... built in, or does it just have NFC? Okay. No, it has. To. It's got to have MST. It, I hope so. It might. I, I don't think. know. I, I just know that one. they have Samsung you. Pay. Um, but my thing is, smartwatches suck. Yeah. So I don't want to use one. Uh, people are saying the no on the Watch Active Two doesn't have MST. So. Oh, just NFC. I have to get the S3, I guess. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't want to use Tizen or any of that. I don't. Whatever. Mm. Anyway, let me transition this. Are you ready for lights? Ba-choo! There it is. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Somebody uh, said MSG. <laughs> MSG? Jesus. Monosodium glutamate? Uh, Adam Joseph Tuma. With the five dollar donation says, Ooh. "What up, fellas? Google Podcast listener, first time live joining. Very nice. Hopefully, nice, Adam. Gonna, good timing too. Good timing, my man. You it's just joined us time. in time for trivia. Very nice. Welcome to the live show, Adam. Glad to have you. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. Thank you so uh, very much. Welcome. So yeah, Tim has the lights on, and we're doing this weird back and forth because this is trivia time. This is the trivia. This is the official trivia right. dance. Oops. And uh." Yeah, it's trivia time. So if you're new around here at the end of every show, after we run through all the topics, we do trivia. We do five questions and we reward winners for each of those questions. So five winners, five questions. We put a question up. Tim reads it. You have to be watching live, obviously, on YouTube. Otherwise, it probably doesn't work. Um, When we put the question up, Tim reads it. You just hit the chat. Type out the answer as fast as you can. If you're first, we will call your name out. And I mention this every show, but our chat is faster than yours. So you may see a different order in the answers. We go off what our chat says. So we'll call your name out if you win. And then you win. And this week we're giving everyone $10 Google Play credit to, uh, you know, rent some movies, rent a flick, get a new game, subscribe to something. $10 is halfway to pre-ordering the new Star Wars movie. So that's good. It's not bad at all. Uh, I have no sunglasses up here. I wanted to throw on some shades, kind of like to get the old the to, get, to really the, vibe the out feeling going. Yeah, but well, no vibe. No, All no right, vibe. so it looks like everyone's got their testing going apparently. I know people are like having to test, but. Ah, that's cool. Why I see testing? all of your tests. <laughs> yeah. What, what are we they testing? Wanna, they got to make sure they got that low, low latency. I suppose ah, the low, low, the low, low, that low, low, low. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and we'll get it to. Kicked off right here. We got a little. There's no real theme for this no week. Uh, it's just all sort of Android tech trivia. So. Just good old trivia. Yeah, I like it. All right. So question hit. number one is up now. Uh, what map service do old people use? Oh wait, that's wrong. That's next week's trivia. Uh, <laughs> what reason is cited for LG pulling out of this year's MWC? Mm-hmm. Ah yes. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Nick Fisher on this one. He said Corona, short for coronavirus, of course. So uh, if anyone puts MapQuest, you also win. Just because <laughs> they got lost on the way. Nick Fisher, congratulations. Coronavirus is correct. They are pulling out. ZTLG said, "Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna put our employees through that." At MWC, <laughs> citing coronavirus. Oh, carnivorous. Sorry. Lee Woods sorry, is carnivorous. Sure carnivorous virus dude that'd be sketchy that's like the actual zombie apocalypse the carnivorous that's a pretty sweet name all right (laughs) 
Okay. All right. I am ready for the next question. Nick Fisher, congratulations. Uh, question number two is up now. How many different colors are available for the Google Stadia controller? Ooh. How many colors are available for the Google Stadia controller? It's not two. It's not three. It's kind of a trick <laughs> question. Because, uh... Oh, finally, I think I saw the correct answer of four from Alex. Go my sign. Ch my chat's way behind yours. Oh, sorry. I'm seeing Alex, though, with the first correct answer of four. There it is. Yep. That is the first four on my screen as well. Yeah. So we've got Wasabi, Clearly White, Founders Blue, mm -hmm. uh, and then the uh, the other one. Is there four? Oh. Is there yes, four? Dude. I just can't remember them off the top of my head, but there is. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a mint color, a white, and a blue. What else is there? Uh -oh. Don't worry, dude. I'll uh -oh. handle it. Oh, don't even uh oh me. I know for sure. <laughs> so Founders Night Blue, clearly white, just black, and wasabi. Oh, there's there. a black one. I didn't realize yes. there was a I didn't realize there was a just black. All right. right, and I'm going to check my numbers again because I got to make sure that everyone just make sure who came in first with four. Your, yeah, I'm seeing Alex. Yeah, he is. He's All the right. first one with four on my screen. Congratulations, Alex. <laughs> I know I'm going to miss go sign, go side. I'm go sorry see. if I'm go see. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. E <laughs> going with go feel. scene on that one. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my <laughs> goodness. All right. None. There we go. All right. Question number three, please. Let's just keep it rolling. Question number three is up now. What version of Android added support for custom keyboards? And we're just looking for the dessert name here. Whatever you got. Um, what version of Android added support for custom keyboards? Uh, if you want to give me the Android version number, that's totally fine. But it also is a total pain. <laughs> Uh, so far, I'm not seeing it. Uh, <laughs> Folks, you gotta I... go. You gotta go way back, <laughs> dude. I don't think anyone's gotten it yet. Did I just see it from William? Again, mine's like the two oh. services I use for mine are slower. Yes. Okay. William Perella. William Perella with the correct answer of cupcake and sean says i'm not old enough to know <laughs> or not <laughs> classic <laughs> get him sean yeah cupcake android 1.5 it was a long time ago folks when they added support for the old custom keyboards that's crazy what was the first one because that was so that was like before i think you and i were even doing this what was, like was the, the first, first custom keyboard yeah. swift key was probably one of the first ones swipe I no i think i bet it was swipe Remember when swipe. we were we were like side loading swipe like the early builds of swipe because they were they were exclusive to some phone I can't remember who, which phone was it was. and we were just side loading it remember we used to run like a download service basically on Droid Life oh yeah we did back in the day <laughs> William Perella and it is Perella by the way he uh, yeah. he confirmed that to me William last week because he won last week too Perella very nice congratulations yeah swipe Swift Key. Uh, a whole bunch of great third-party keyboard apps. Swipe was the early king. Oh yeah, absolutely. But then also thinking back to the site and what it used to be, we would uh, we would also distribute um, Netflix APKs. Yeah, that that was a you had big... to do what you had to do back then. Oh yeah, it was a wild world back then. The wild west of Android. Yeah, we used to have a downloads page where because you just had to sideload everything because there was yeah. like four phones and everything was limited between them. Live wallpapers. Yeah, live wallpapers. That's right. Because the Nexus One had all the cool stuff and our OG yeah. Droid didn't. <laughs> yep. ah, good times. Good times, yep. <clears throat> all right. Uh, question number four, please. Question number four is up now. Oh, now. What there. was Go what was Google's original payments app released in 2011? So this might confuse a couple of people, but we're looking for the one that was released in 2011. What was Google's original payments app? Oh, very nice. Uh, Evan Brown with the correct answer of wallet. Um, of course, Nate Clements, Ellis, uh, not Chris. <laughs> a few of you had wallet, but uh, I've got. Uh, it's Evan. Yeah. Yeah. Nate Evan and Ellis first. were right there, but Evan is yeah, first Evan on our Brown. screen. <clears throat> Congratulations, Evan with Google wallet. Google wallet. What a time. The Nexus S launches has NFC support shortly after. 
Google Wallet comes out, and that's when Verizon just was like, nah, we're going to make up all the lies so that we don't have to put Google Wallet on our phones because we have this ISIS hack. Oh, ice. So I forgot funny. about ISIS. It's still so funny that it was named ISIS. And what's really crazy is like it was ISIS for a couple of years. And this was like, I think right around the time that the terrorist group was maybe forming. I don't have my history there, but they had to change. They finally went, you know, I think we're going to change the name because we don't want to be affiliated with the terrorist organization. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at first they were like, no, we're not going to change it. And then they said, OK, we should probably change it. Because ISIS kept killing people. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it unbelievable brutal. mistake there. So uh, nah, yeah, not cool. But I'll never it forget happens. where they blocked Google Wallet, and I remember writing up stories saying Verizon continues to block it, and I remember them reaching out like mad at me, going, "Kellen, we're not blocking it. It just doesn't meet like our certain security standards." And we were like, sure. "Yeah, you're lying." Because then their ISIS app came out and it had like the same setup as Google Wallet. Like it didn't meet the standard they said that Google Wallet. Like it was just it was a bunch. It was a load of s. It's a load of s, fellas. That's what we had back then. Yeah. All right, the time has come. We got to question number five. Here right. we go. Question Last number chance. five is up now. What Android tablet had to be shipped back to its manufacturer <laughs> to gain 4G LTE support? They had to do a special install process. Unreal. I did this. You did? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. I think you did. Is that Chris uh, Williams? I'm seeing Chris Williams. Yeah. The first answer is also the correct one with the Motorola Zoom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorite things that's ever happened in all of Android. Like the Zoom came out. It's up so, there. So we were at CES that one year and Google does this like random presentation in front of a bunch of people and we must have just missed it that they were doing it. And remember they showed off Honeycomb like on a Zoom and we were like, whoa, the Zoom. And then it got like delayed after delayed after delayed because Honeycomb was so bad. And then they finally released it and it was supposed to be because it was around the time of the LTE. They were like, it's going to be the first LTE tablet. And then they shipped it and went, okay, it doesn't have LTE yet. And in a couple months, you get to send it back to us mm -hmm. and we will put an LTE chip in it. Free of charge. Free of charge. I mean, hey, that ain't bad. <laughs> it's just so funny. And like how I, I think I've shared like on air where I didn't think I was going to get mine back because they factory wiped them, I think. Or you were supposed to wipe it before you got. It. So I didn't want them to like swap mine out for a different one. So I like use a Sharpie on the back like, mm. and marked it just to see if I was going to get the one back. And they, I did. I did get it back. Yeah. So, so many, crazy. So many things back then are just hilarious. Patrick yeah. Crumpler with five books. Thank you, Patrick. Oh, well, thank you, that. Patrick, very much. Excellent. Appreciate that. Uh, Appreciate that. Well, we've got to the point of the show. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we dip out i mean i don't even know if there's all that much to say about what happened in the fourth quarter i mean obviously we had the game won. um clearly the niners were the better team um they just decided to poop the bed i don't know i mean maybe they felt bad for andy Reid. they're like we can't let this guy you know stop football without a ring we gotta give it to him so maybe i'd like to think that we we upped and just decided to give andy Reid his ring it, was so, a, it turned out to be a charity event. It was a charity event. Obviously, yeah. we showed our dominance in all three quarters of the game, and then we said, "Ah, Andy, you can have it." <laughs> um, I'm still faithful. Uh, I mean, I was just, I was born a Niners fan, dude. I mean, you were. So yeah. uh, now, Jimmy G. I, that's a whole other discussion. Um, should we cut him and bring on Tom Brady? Well, you know, it's a. It's something to think it, about. It would be actually pretty funny to see Jimmy <laughs> G so backs rude. up Tom Brady for like 25 years, finally gets a chance, goes to the Super Bowl, and everyone's so mad at how awful he was in the playoffs that they're Bring like, you know what, well, we're just going to replace you again with Tom Brady. It would be yeah. pretty funny. It, it was a fun game. If you were a Chiefs fan, that was probably like exhilarating and awesome. Uh, obviously, if you're a Niners fan, you're like, you just want to blow your brains out. But, uh, and I had to watch the game. I hosted a Super Bowl party myself and a, had a bunch of uh, friends over, but everyone around here is a Seahawks fan. So yeah, everyone, they hate the I, Niners. yep, and yeah. that that was a mistake on my part. Uh, you know, I know how obnoxious and terrible Seahawks fans are, and I don't think you I'll got ever mad, have. Didn't you? You got oh, mad at I all got, your friends? Oh, I, I because they were trolling. They were they trolling hard. Been. 
They got I to. Know, but it's so rude. Uh, oh. I about so I about told a couple of them. I was like, get out. Because I mean, they were. I told my dog to sick one of them, but uh, I said, get him, get him, get him. But yeah, it was just it was rough. But hey, we'll be back. I think. I hope. I'm pretty um, sure you'll be back. It's a great team. It's a great team. I hope they don't like blow it up or something like the Blazers did after uh, their. Um, you know, Western Conference Finals uh, series last year, where it's like, oh, we got really good. Let's blow it up. Yeah, I don't think so, the 49ers will do that. Football teams yeah. are built a little differently than basketball. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, the Blazers, Lillard last past week's been going on sort of a tear. Couple weeks string, uh, yeah, string of games there. He's My looking guy. good. My guy Dame Dalla. Dame Dalla, he's the man. Man, it's, it's been a good time for sports. We're kind of in that lull right now of where it's just basketball. Which uh, I love. I think, yeah, I think hockey's <laughs> going on. I don't uh, know what that basketball, is. Yeah, basketball is kind of boring. Thankfully, I don't think soccer's happening. That's the worst time of year is when oh, soccer's no, it happening. Is. It starts in like three weeks, MLS. We, oh. we're, we're in preseason MLS right now. Well, thankfully, we're getting right up to baseball season. That's they, a bit they more announced the new, so. kit, the new kits yesterday. Uh, yeah, I saw the kits from Nike. Yes, the, the new, new Nike kits. The new kits. They look cool. My Timbers. Yeah. I know you love it. I like the national teams, obviously. I mean, well, besides the men's. I, besides I like the, the U.S. Men. women's No one likes the U.S. Team. men's team. Yeah. <laughs> I only like them. Yeah. We like They're teams nice. that are good. Yeah. I like yeah. winners. So. Uh, all right. Uh, should we wrap her up? Uh, yeah, thank wrap you, her up. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining one. us. Yeah, next week should be wild. So uh, possibly review this Razor thing next week. But the big thing is Tim will be uh, Tim will be in San Francisco doing Samsung stuff for about Possibly. six hours straight and then flying right the hell back here. And we hope that he survives. Yeah, they in. might shut down the airport. So yeah, we'll you see. You never know. No seeds be with a final two dollars. Just how about those Celtics? Yeah, Dude, you know. Celtics. Your Celtics are solid. The best yeah. thing you ever did was get rid of Kyrie. So good move there. Oh, I got on the Celtics. Not a big Boston sports fan, but no seeds knows that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Arsuelo, uh, Arsuelo, dude. Just tell me your, yeah, just tell me your first name, man. <laughs> I don't have to double think every time I say your last name. Uh, yeah, I'm not even in San Francisco long enough to do a meetup, but I am always down. If you catch me anywhere in a town, I'm always down for a meetup. I'll do a beer. I'll do a. I'll do a burger. I'll do whatever. So, anyway, hit me up on Twitter. Yes, yeah, we'll Arsuelo. Yep. Oh, the kid. Rip. Thanks for joining us. Finally caught us live. Appreciate you joining us live. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Thank you so much. Hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Thank you yeah. very much for joining Fantastic weekend. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Fantastic weekend. Thank you for joining us. Uh, episode 225. Peace. Peace.